Praise y'all brothers and sisters. Praise the Most High. As always, he's worthy of all praise and honor and esteem. He is so faithful to us. And we love him and we're grateful to him. Baruch are all those who revere him and who walk in his ways. Praise Yah. Today, we're going to read some scriptures that will remind us that he is always with us. So much of the word has been fulfilled and yet being fulfilled and so much yet to be fulfilled. Um, we are going to read some scriptures from a zone, Revelation. Um, and you'll see that we are in this place. The seals have been opened. And I saw, this is Hazel 6, when the lamb opened one of the seals and I heard one of the four living creatures saying like a sound of thunder, come and see. And I looked and saw a white horse and he who sat on it holding a bow and a crown was given to him and he went out overcoming and to overcome. And when he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, come and see. And another horse, fiery red, went out and it was given to the one who sat on it to take peace from the earth and that they should slay one another. And a great sword was given to him. And when he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, come and see. And I looked and saw a black horse and he who sat on it holding a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, a measure of wheat for Daenerys and three measures of barley for Daenerys and do not harm the oil and the wine. And when he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, come and see. And I looked and saw a pale horse and he who sat on it had the name of death and the grave followed with him. And authority was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and by the beast of the earth. And when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the beings of those having been slain for the word of Yahuwah and for the witness which they held. And they cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Eloah, Kodesh and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? And there was given to each one a white robe, and they were told that they should rest a little while longer until both their fellow servants and their brothers who would be killed as they were reached completion. And I looked when he opened the sixth seal and saw a great earthquake came to be. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of the Shamayim fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its unripe, untimely figs, being shaken by a strong wind. And the Shamayim departed like a scroll being rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. And the sovereigns of the earth, and the great ones, and the rich ones, and the commanders, and the mighty, and every slave, and every free one, hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him sitting on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb. Because the great day of his wrath has come and who is able to stand? Are we able to stand? Will we be able to endure to the end? Are we making ourselves ready? There's a message that's gonna be coming real soon regarding that, but we need to be making ourselves ready. Are we gonna stand? Do we watch and pray as he told us to do? <sighs> so we have a horse that was given a crown who was given power to overcome. Then another one, the fiery red horse. Um, he was given um, the authority to take peace from the earth so that people would slay one another. A great sword was given to him. And then the other horse, the black horse, was talking about famine and the scarcity of food. 
um, and the high cost of food. Then he had the pale horse, which had death and grave that followed him. And they were given authority to um, take a fourth of the earth to kill them with sword and with hunger and with death and by the beast of the earth. The fifth seal was to let us know that we have brethren who have given their lives for the word of Yahuwah. They said, having been slain for the word of Yahuwah and for the witness which they held. And Yahuwah promises them that things are going to, he's going to judge the earth. And we know he is. Keep reading his own and he'll tell us all about it. That day's coming. You know, in Timothy, he says that we want to reign with him. We got to suffer with him. And might be in Timothy, another verse, but it's, I think Timothy might be Thessalonians, one of Thessalonians, but it says that um, if we're going to live a Kodesh way, we have to expect to get persecution. And Yahushua said in Matthew that to count it all joy and to that when we're persecuted for his name's sake. So we have to understand that that might happen. But the most important thing, brothers and sisters, is that we hold on to Yahuwah. Know that we're victorious in him. That we win in him. And it doesn't, it's not about what it looks like. It might look like they've conquered us, but they haven't when we stay in his When we stay in his secret place. So now I'm going to read a few verses to encourage us. To let us know that we do win in Yahuwah. Definitely. Psalms 33 to Helium 33, beginning with verse 18. Behold, the eye of Yahuwah is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his kindness and his compassion to deliver their, their being, their soul from death, and to keep them alive in famine. Our being waits for Yahuwah. He is our help and our shield. For our heart will rejoice in him because we have trusted in his Kodesh name. Let your compassion and kindness, Yahuwah, be upon us according as we hope in you. So, as we hope in him is, how we, is what we will receive. It's like, what do we deposit in the bank? If, if we can't go to the bank expecting a large a sum of money if we haven't deposited a large sum of money. So according to how we hope in him is what we will receive. Let your compassion and kindness, you who will be upon us, according as we hope in you. Let's take this time to start building our knowledge of him and, and all that he promises and so that when calamity hits we have it stored up in us we have his word stored up in us we have our confidence in him stored up in us to helium 37 beginning with verse 25 Dawood said I've been young and now I'm old yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread but the salvation of the righteous is of Yahuwah he is their strength in the time of trouble and Yahuwah will help them and deliver them. And he will deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. So we read about how there's going to be scarcity of food. And what food can be found is going to cost a lot. And the stipulations that will be in order to get the food. But when we're trusting in the Most High, he's going to make sure that our needs are met. To Helium 107, verse, beginning with verse 4. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto Yahuwah in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. All oh, that men would praise Yahuwah for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfies the longing being, the longing soul, and fills the hungry being with goodness. 
They cried unto him. In their trouble, he delivered them out of their distresses. Joshua or Joshua 1, beginning with verse 5. There shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moshe, so I will be with you. I will not fail you, nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. Only be strong and very courageous. That you observe to do according to all the law which Mose, my servant, commanded you. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night, and that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be dismayed. For Yahuwah, your Lord, is with you wherever you go. He, you know, he, we have to remember that he is the same one that was with them. He's the same one that spoke these words of encouragement that's going to accompany us through this time. That is coming. He's made promises for us for doing that time. John 16, beginning with verse 33. I've told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace and confidence. In the world you have tribulation and trials and distress and frustration. But be of good cheer. Take courage. Be confident and certain and undaunted. For I have overcome the world. I have deprived it of the power to harm you and have conquered it for you. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For Yahuwah, your Lord, he it is that goes with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you. And Yahuwah, he it is that goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you, neither forsake you. Fear not neither be dismayed. Ishayahu or Isaiah 43 But now thus says Yahuwah that created you, O Yaakov, and he that formed you, O Yashrael, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. He knows us. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon you. For I am Yahuwah, your Lord, the Kodesh one of Yashrael, your Mashiach. He is with us. So no matter what comes and goes, remember Psalms 91, a thousand shall fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, but it shall not come nigh us. For only with our eyes will we behold and see the reward of the wicked. We shall not fear the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasted in noonday. A thousand shall fall at our side. So we have to remember that when we learn to dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we're kept. And most of all, like I said, because Yahushua has already said that some are going to be put in prison. Some will be in prison 10 days. He says, endure. He says, in your patience, possess you your soul, your being. So we have got to be patient. We've got to learn to wait on him. There's several verses that talk. Dawood says how he waited on his word. And there's one, there's one verse in Psalms 105. It's talking about Joseph. How he said that um, it said that he had that while he was waiting on the word of Yahuwah to come to pass, that very word tried him, and that's what happens with us. His word, we're tried. Do we believe the word that he's spoken? The the different verses of confidence in him, as he assures us that he'll be with us. 
You know, I was thinking today how a few years ago I met several Kodeshians and it was so exciting. We were all excited about each other, coming you know, to the knowledge of each other. And then differences started separating us. Different personalities started separating us. We were like little preschoolers. And, um, and I think about those brothers and sisters and miss them and wonder how they're doing and hoping that they're still, they're still walking in the ways of Yahuwah. They're still revering him. They're still holding on and standing firm that their foundation is, is the rock and not sand. But we can't let nothing separate us that is so silly about differences because in Ephesians 4, he says there's going to be one new man. He's going to build us all up to come to that place that he would have us to be. And we just have to be patient. Now, sometimes, you know what? It might be for the better of us to kind of like separate for a while until Yahuwah works things out in us. So, of course, you know, I'm not saying stay in, stay in mess because that's not, we can't, we won't be able to thrive in him. Just always be led by him, though. Let's not run because of our flesh. You know, so just be led of him. But these things are already here. These seals, very evident, these seals have been opened. And we are living during this time right now. There's still so much more to take place. But just be encouraged and know that he is with us and that he will not leave us nor forsake us. And we can know that he is true to his word. I'm going to um, look to get this um, scripture to read it is one of my favorite um but it's written like this only in the um amplified version the amplified um what do you call it classic and um because they really did amplify it they really did amplify it um So we'll see if I can find it real quick here for us. Okay. It says, For he, Aloha himself, has said, I will not in any way fail you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. I will not, I will not, I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake you, nor let you down or relax my hold on you assuredly not so we take comfort and we are encouraged and we are confident and we boldly say yahuwah is our helper i will not be seized with alarm i will not fear or dread or be terrified what can man do to me to helium 56 says what time i am afraid i will trust in yahuwah so let's remember in closing, courage is not the absence of fear, but it is the resistance to fear and is the mastery of fear. Courage. He said, be a good cheer. In John 16, he says, take courage. So let's take it. Let's take courage. Let's be like the Maccabees were. Or the mighty men of Daud. Wow. And remember, fear as an acronym. Fear is false evidence appearing real. We have to know that what Yahuwah says, that is truth. That is what is real. No matter what is being presented before us, it will look real. It will feel real. It will smell real. But we have to know the realness is the truth of what Yahuwah has spoken. That he will not leave us. He will not forsake us, that he'll be with us everywhere we go. And as he was with Moses, so he'll be with us. If we keep, let me see if I can find that. If we keep his commandments, his word in us, he says, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. 
be not afraid, neither be dismayed, for Yahuwah your Aloha is with you wherever you go. Brothers and sisters, even when I was preparing this, I said, I hope they understand that I'm not a doomsday person. I just want us to be able to make it. I want us to honor the Most High. I don't want us to be like the children of Yashar'el were when they were in the wilderness and deny him and forsake him and doubt him all the time and accuse him. But oh, that we could be strong and know our Elohim so that we can do great exploits. Aloha is worthy of this. And yes, sometimes I wonder, but I'm not even going to say it because they say you, you know, it's written, you have what you say, I'm not even going to say it. But when those thoughts come to me, I know that's when I, I reach out to him more. And I say, because, you know, there, there's a message on this platform. Take no thought saying. When thoughts come to us that are negative, don't say it. Counteract it. So when the negative thoughts come to try to bring doubt, I just say, thank you, Father, for strengthening me, for being my strength. For never leaving me nor forsaking me. Because as humans, we'll have those thoughts. And having an enemy who wants to make us doubt, he'll shoot arrows of doubt and fear. But he's not going to leave us nor forsake us. No matter how high. No matter how low. No matter how cold the water. Or if there be no water. No matter how hot the fire. He's with us. And we have accounts knowing that he will deliver from fires. Fiery furnaces, he will deliver. There's no water. He knows how to bring it. We have a promised land. That's nothing to compare to what is on this earth. But we got to make it. We got to cross that Jordan. Be encouraged, brothers and sisters. He's with us wherever we go. And though the seals have been open and they are real today, there's there was two two of them. I think it was two or three. I know I knew it was at least two. Talking about men's lives being taken. Three, because you got one that's overcoming and two overcome. One that um, is taking peace from the earth so that people are slaying one another. And then um, death and hell, death and the grave were on another horse. But when we're covered in the blood of the lamb, he did that in Exodus. The Misraim, in Misraim, the Misrites, they lost their firstborn. But the children of Yashrael, who were obedient and put the blood on the doorposts, they did not experience that. And it's the same with us today. There's great ruins in the earth today. Men have given themselves over to evil entities and not even realizing how it was a gradual descent by watching everything on TV and accepting everything as normal and natural. And they've opened themselves up and denying and resisting and refusing to live by the instructions that Father has set up for us. It's a sad thing. But we don't go alone. <laughs> We're not alone. So, till next time, brothers and sisters, continue to be encouraged. And take courage. Yahushua said, take courage. Take it. I love you, Yahuwah. And be encouraged. Know that you're not alone. Even if you are alone physically, you're not alone. You're not alone. We have each other and we have the Most High. 
We win in Yah. We win in Yah. All praises be to him. All praises. <laughs>